All right, guys, welcome to the Boston Marathon vlog day one. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's still have some of my tea. We are on our way to our event. Uh, we were hosting our meetup in Boston Common. It's gonna be happening in about half an hour. We got coffee. We got coffee. We got all this great stuff. So we got a lot of events today, not only ours, but um, there's, there's a just... lot of good stuff going on today. A lot of people to hear talk, a lot of people to talk to. It's gonna be great. Like we are gonna try to catch up with some pro runners. We're gonna try to catch up with our athletes. We're gonna try to show you the expo. So stick around. We got a lot of great stuff coming up. Now let's go to that expo or not the expo. Our shakeout. Our, our shakeout run. Let's go to our let's shakeout go run. Mobilize. Are you actually filming, or are you just uh, practicing? Well, you know, we've just started. <laughs> We're doing a little sound check, but let's just uh, roll into it. Sound check, one, two. One, two. Three, uh, four. You guys ready? You guys racing on Monday or what? No. I'm racing. Uh, racing yeah. something? I finally got some uh, news from my coach that made me not think that my time is going to be really crazy. Yeah. Crazy good? Uh, or just crazy. You're well, just like crazy well, well, at practice. <laughs> well, I put my all my training times into like McMillan calculator yeah. and stuff, and it has me running like under 3:30, and I'm going. You can be more. You're gonna be with me. It's like I've. Yeah. It's like it's like I. Have, it's like I have never run under 3:30. Maybe in my the entire life, that's and like you a, never will with that attitude. That's like a, that's like a 13 minute PR, so it's been really hard that's for me to that sort of wrap my head around energy. being able to All right. do that. So for the here, so though. for the good so for the good internet runners of the world, do you guys have any things to say? Train Last hard. Rest, <laughs> messages. For those of you who are running the race, stop worrying about the weather. It's gonna be what it's going to be. Just yeah. enjoy it. It's Boston Marathon. Like you're here, you earned it. Just enjoy the race. And Edward, if your power meter is not calibrated correctly, oh gosh, or charged, what's gonna happen? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run it on how, how it feels. Yeah, how it and feels. not, not try to overstrain it early. Try to keep it all under control until I hit the hills, and then blow through the hills, and then cruise to the finish line. It's all that Alaska training. All that, all that Alaska, Alaska training. You yeah, got that. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for the snow. Yeah. You're ready. Perfect. Well, we'll be watching you guys and uh, you'll have to swing by for the live stream so we can get a little high five. Yeah. Or side yeah. five. We can or... practice right now. Yeah. There we go. So you guys just came in from Germany yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. 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 Last night. <laughs> um, is this the first Boston? Very first Boston. Very oh, exciting. Oh man, excited. <laughs> Boston always stirs up something weather-wise. We don't always know what's happening, but it's fun to have you guys out here in the rain and the wet a little bit. My very first Boston. Yeah. And this is my sixth consecutive Boston. How would you, you know, describe the run experience to like a runner who's never part of it? I would say it's one of the first places we should be looking at. Learn how to warm up. First Boston. Hi, I'm Jacqueline. I'm from Germany, currently living in Denmark. My very first Boston, yeah. Very exciting. This isn't your first time at one of these shakeouts. It I think it is actually. Did you, where did Scooby Runner come from? Well, I've been a big fan of Scooby-Doo since I was a little kid. My name is Anne. I'm from Adelaide, Australia. Have you been to Boston before? No, this is my first time here. Oh, you excited? Yes. Yeah. Yes. What are you, what are you not, most But not having huge expectations after just having run Tokyo and not yeah. done any hill training. Good event? Yeah, yeah. it was great. But we are going to go see You Can at their panel for a little discussion. There we go. I'm going to go try to meet uh, Tommy Rivers. Hey, there yeah. we go. Uh -huh. And uh, get off those feet at some point. Yeah, yeah. Just one foot in the air at all times. We're resting and recovering. One recover. leg up there. Yeah, exactly. Just whew, rest that one, resting that one. I don't know if that works. No, I think it it's, does. It's, it's not fine. cumulative. Yeah. yeah. We're on our way to UCAN, but the finish line. Boom. Boom. thinks you get the tailwinds and I prepared for the downhills I don't it's okay if it's fast but you also got to think of over by you know for some people um, one two o'clock in the afternoon it's 
it's a lot warmer than you've been training. Okay, one more. That's saving lives. That's too short. How was uh, how was today's talk? It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I always love hearing Neb talk and Sarah Sellers and uh, Greg McMillan. I mean, just like some of the best. Yeah. So, Meb, uh, you have done this thing a couple times. You've won this thing. Like, for all those runners online who are thinking about the Boston Marathon, what would you, what would you have to say to them? Well, life is a marathon, and marathon tests are patience. And Boston is the exam if you're gonna pass the test. So, be patient, have fun. Congratulations on making it to the Boston Marathon. I'm ba Boston M M M Marathon Monday is here, so all I can say is if you can run your second half faster, you're gonna be great. How do you deal with pre-race nerves? Do you have any, do you have any tips for that? Well, preparation is, key to, uh, preparation is the key to anything that you do in life, and then you are here. Now 90% is mental. Well, you've done the work, you're here healthy, and just think about it. Yeah, you're gonna be able to just run one mile at a time. Don't overlook over 26 point miles or the weather. Just go out there, be the best you can be. And for those runners out there who haven't qualified for Boston yet, but they, they want to make it one day. Well, we all are judged on how well known about running according to the Boston Marathon because this is the many, many hundreds of years of the Boston Marathon. So you never thought maybe you could run a block, but go outside the door, tie your shoes, go for a run. And once you do that, you're going to do a marathon or maybe a 5K, 10K, and then eventually a marathon. And then eventually you want to qualify for the Boston Marathon. So I would encourage you to just go out and tie your shoes and go for a two mile run, three mile run, whatever it is, but eventually hopefully you can make it to Boston. You I, don't have any, I don't have anything intelligent to say. <laughs> Your new dad, how's that? Oh man, new dad is great. It's been like, uh, it's my own marathon. Yeah. It felt, felt like I've been up since 2.30 uh, <laughs> today, so I'm gonna be going all day. It's like 26.2 yeah. miles of talking. Yeah. So, um, Mr. McMillan, of the McMillan calculator, <laughs> and other such things. You, you have a lot of runners in Boston. How many runners do you have out here? Uh, we had over 3,000 go through our Boston training series Are you this kidding? year. Yeah, which is really awesome. Now, some of them may not be running Boston. They may have squirted in there to run London or something. But definitely, like usual, a lot of athletes qualifying yeah. for and running Boston, which is a thrill, obviously. That is such a thrill. Yeah. Okay, now in 30 seconds or less, tell me everything I need to know about the Boston. <laughs> no, it's, I'm kidding. It's super easy. Yeah. <laughs> super easy, yeah. one foot in front of the other. Right, left, right, left, right, and you'll yeah. get to the finish line. Now, I think it's, it's such a, you know, I talked to a lot of runners about it before and after. Yeah. And you start to learn what are the tricks, and really it's just about controlling yourself early, saving your energy, even though this race sets you up to make all the mistakes a marathoner makes. Too fast in the beginning Too fast. with those downhills. Yes, and even though these are experienced marathoners because they qualified to run, they still get sucked into yeah. going too fast too early. So really trying to get people to control themselves a little bit, just run even pace, and set themselves up to have a lot of energy at the end. Because if you do that right, you can run very fast here at Boston. Athletes who, are deal who used to high pressure situations, they have a good routine established. Newer athletes when they come to Boston for the first time, yeah. uh, that's a struggle. So like, have you struggled with that? And like, what's your routine that you're finding, you know, for, for pre-race nerves? Yeah, uh, I think um, find time to really kind of center yourself and um, go back to like, things that you visualized about the race so um, like remember the reason that you're here and um, it's easy you know you've been so focused on the race for so long there's so many months before but then when you get here there's like some there's distractions there's pressure and it's easy to have your mind kind of be totally unfocused and really like yeah you need to just take moments to get back to like why am I here and kind of visualize again like for me I keep visualizing just the gun going off and like yeah. that is I want to be like that's my element like when the gun goes off that's why I'm here it's to be in the race oh you got the Dunkin Donut shoes tell me about yeah. these I got Look at these, these guys uh, and they're amazing uh, bright. I need my white parachute pants from the 80s to go with them, <laughs> you know, but I said they're not really my colors, but I just said to heck, you gotta I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna dun I'm dunking with Duncan. The rare sighting of the man behind it. the camera, Jeff. Is this your machine? No, this is Rafa's. Yeah? Yes. Yes. So this is what one of the race machines looks like right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dang. That's pretty darn cool. Well, we'll be uh, cheering you guys on from the top of Heartbreak Hill. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. Maybe from the bottom and give us a push up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cheers. Good, thanks, man.
you guys had the experience, we, we, we do the experience. Yeah. It's amazing. It's yeah. fun to watch people who've never experienced the brand experience it for the yeah. first time and like hear about totally. it and totally. discover it. So that's been probably the best part that's of it. That's really good. Here's a little limited edition lock for you. Let's see what you pick here. Choose one. Go. Can I look at it? You can read it. Take it in. Experience it. Years of research have gone into this. Okay. <laughs> Training is sometimes overrated. Besides, there's a 90% chance of injury if you actually train for a marathon. Best save those injuries for race day. No worries. Cornelio the Yeti will be at the finish line with an ice pack for you. Smear enough ice that is. Hey. You can't resist the Yeti, right? You can't. Well, there you go. Take it with you wherever you go. Just don't try. Yeah, right? <laughs> don't well, don't try too hard. Don't try too hard. Try hard just enough so you don't get injured. Yeah. Yeah. Always good advice. So you are making official cheer signs? Yep. That's right. Well, what do we want, guys? We got to make one for uh, Morgan and Edward. What are we going to do? I just keep thinking of what speed demons they are. Go speedster. Eh, I got, uh, we can do better than that. All right, what do we got? We decided that we are going to take our our belief here at the Run Experience that you got to earn your miles, and we're going to turn it into the pass of you earned your miles You're for our here. two runners, Morgan and Edward, who are going to kill it. Really, Nate, nice to meet you. He's um like the spokesperson at the Run Experience. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Good. You guys helped me out with all sorts of neat things. Yeah. yeah, the last year to 18 months, we really blew up what Runner's World was and we sort of reassessed a lot of things as we had new owners and figuring out how can we make everything we do as successful as possible. So the magazine changed, the websites changed, even our events have yeah. changed. Like we're here in Boston, we have a three-story townhouse where we're doing retail experience, we have a yoga studio, we're doing seminars on our own, just blowing it up and really coming out and meeting the runners, just changing everything we've ever done. Yeah. What, um, what are you really most excited about you know, just from this past year and in terms of the changes that you guys are seeing? I'm just seeing the, the change in the sport itself. Yeah. You know, it used to be we'd slap on a bib and we'd participate in a marathon, and now it's really just this rich community. People are running for whatever reasons it is. They're not slapping on a bib, but they're still getting together. They're still running hard. There's still a lot of people running fast. So you go to a lot of races and, and have been to a lot of races. What makes this? Boston, Newbury Street, what makes this so, such a thing? I've said this is our Super Bowl, right? I yeah. mean, this is the celebration. It is the every man's Olympics. You you work your tail off to get that BQ, and a lot of people don't come even close to running their BQ time here because they've made it here. This yeah. is the party, this is the celebration. And you know, in other towns, in other cities, Chicago, New York, they have huge marathons. People know about it, but there are people in New York, I'm sure, when the marathon comes around, they don't know what's happening. Sure. It's like, there's just life that happens. Here, I don't know if there's anybody in Boston that doesn't know no. or isn't touched by the marathon. It is just, it is a running town and it's its just amazing to come here and just be inspired by everything that's happening. And if you're not a runner and you're in town, chances are you're thinking about it. You're like, this, this looks pretty cool. I think I want to be a part of this. How are you feeling, Jeff? Good. Did yeah. a little shake out, ate a donut. Yeah, yeah a little Norma Did you like a donut? We have a lot of them. Fun fact, we met on the starting line of a mountain bike race true. a long time ago, and we have Airbnb together, we have road trip together, we have couch surfed together, yep, yep. and we've also done some trail runs. I don't know if we've ever done a road run together. No, I don't think so. That's Just trails. Yeah. Just trails. I'm sure it will though, it based will. on our history. Based on our history, but you are out here running Boston Marathon and representing Rabbit. Have yep. you run Boston before? I haven't, first time. Yeah. Well, we were tallying up your races the other day, and it was like 199. Uh, Boston will be like my 199th race. So. <laughs> Crazy. Between biking and running, and all a lot stuff. more cycling than running. But. Yeah. Um, how has Boston been for you so far? It's been amazing. I mean, the crowds have been awesome. I think the weather has cooperated so far, and Newberry is just like everyone runner's dream right now with Tracksmith and Gooder and Runner's World and Solomon everywhere. It's been really good. The Expo is closer this year. We got so. a sign made. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. This is our this is our mix and match special right here. This one is actually great um, because with the harder ones, you don't want to put it right on your shin bone. But say you want to still get pretty deep in your path. Oh, you can yeah. Throw this on here and then get, deep get in the right in the back. So you got the softness right on your shin bone, you're protecting the bone there. 
but you're still getting really deep in your calves. Hi right, gang, that is a wrap. We have talked to people, shaken hands, walked around, warmed up. Your sticker's upside down though. My sticker's upside down. I'm a little tired, we gotta go edit up with this thing. Uh, we had a good time. We had a great time. We got to talk with a lot of interesting people, both our training club members, lots of brand reps, getting to hear all the good stuff they're doing, checking it all out. Yeah, you guys, get a a good, good day. you guys get a good day. We haven't even been to the expo yet. We've just been on Newbury Street, checking all the pop-ups and all the runners and all the cool events. Uh, tomorrow, we will be going deep into the expo. So, uh, see you then. Yeah.